Well, hey everyone, it's Scott again with newportraitbiz.com. And what I wanna do today is actually share this photo with you right now. Now, not just the photo, but the effect that I applied to the photo. If I turn this off, you can see that's the original. It's a little bit softer, but you can also notice there's not as much depth. And again, this particular image right here looks great. I think it's, it's a great effect, but we can add a little bit more to it by doing this. Now, this almost makes it look like a painting. If I bring this up really close, you can see, let me turn it off. You can see back in here, it still looks a little bit like a painting, but when I do this, it really brings out the definition, the detail, it makes it a little bit sharper. Even in the rock, uh, down here in the uh, the wood, the rustic wood, all of that stuff, and it really just blends everything together. And this is something that I do a lot of times when I'm trying to make my digital backgrounds and props you know, look more even or more blended. Um, so this is kind of like another blending trick, but it's also an effect you can apply to any image. It doesn't have to be just a digital background or digital prop like this one here. This is one that we created for our club. It's called Sunflower Hillside, and uh, it's something that has a lot of color, but yet it also has some natural elements, and that's why it works really well for this. But this works for seniors or any other type of photography you do as well. But with that being said, let me show you how I did it super easy. All right, let me delete that layer and show you how I did it. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is uh, create two duplicate layers. So just go layer, duplicate layer, do it again, layer, duplicate layer. All right, and there's a reason for this, so just pay attention and follow along. So these two layers right here are the ones we're gonna work on right now, okay? So the top one, and you can label them if you want, I'm not going to, uh, just to save time, but I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that that one is selected. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Image, Adjustments, and then I'm going to go to Invert, all right? And now it's going to look a little strange. That's okay, no big deal. It's not going to look like that for long. So now what we want to do is go to the Layer Mode and then go in here and select Vivid Light. Then what we want to do is go to Filter, Blur, Surface Blur. All right. Now the settings that I've chosen here is 40 on the radius and 30 on the threshold. Now you can play around with these and it'll give you different results. Okay. Uh, again, I would urge you to just experiment. Every image is going to be a little bit different, but usually a good starting point would be like 40 and then 30, and then you can play with it from there. But I'm going to go ahead and choose that, select OK. Okay. And now what I'm going to do, once that this thing finishes rendering, is I'm gonna uncheck the bottom layer and I'm gonna make sure that these two layers are selected. Now I'm gonna go to Layer, Merge, Visible, okay? Now I need to convert this to a black and white or just at least take all the color out of it. So for the sake of keeping this simple, let me just use the, uh, the old fashioned way. Image, Adjustment, and then Hue and Saturation. You can see that is your shortcut if you're on a Mac. It's the Command and then the U. Select that. And then I'm just going to take the saturation and bring it all the way down. Okay. And that right there is kind of a cool effect in itself. A little weird, but it's uh, it's kind of neat. Anyway, so uh, now what I'm going to do is turn the background layer on. And now I'm going to, and this is why I had to create the duplicate layer twice, is because now I'm going to create another blending mode to this while it's like this. So I'm going to go to the uh, normal on the layers mode and go down to overlay. And then now watch. Look at the difference. I'm going to pull that up for you. So we've got that's before, that's after. Now, the one thing that I noticed that I didn't really like was this right here. Notice in the face, because there was some shadows already there. Let me turn this off. You can see there's a little bit of shadows in there, and that's okay. Normally, that's fine. Uh, but when you do this, it's pulling all of the detail. All right, all of the detail in the skin and the shadows, all that stuff. So what we want to do is we want to be able to tone that down. So what I'm going to do is make sure that that layer is selected, and then I'm going to go down and I'm going to create a layer mask. Then I'm going to go to my paintbrush, make sure that the foreground is set to black, and then I'm going to also, my opacity, I'm just going to keep it low, like 38%, and then I'm just going to lightly go over top of these areas. And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. Still keeping a lot of the detail, but then I'm going to be able to keep the effect on the rest of the image. All right. Now, if I turn that off, you can see that's before and that's after. And now let me pull it back all the way. That's after. That's before. Okay. And you can see a huge difference right there, right? It gives it a lot more texture in a sense. Okay. It almost makes it look like a painting. Look at the skin. See in the skin here, it's kind of blotchy. It's kind of okay. I like that look, okay, for this particular effect. 
Now, I wouldn't necessarily say that every client is gonna like this, or you might not like it, but it's another effect you can, you can use, especially when you're using digital backgrounds and props because it blends everything nicely together, all right? So that is going to wrap up this short little video showing you this pretty cool effect, and I uh, hope that you got a lot out of it. hope you use it. If you have any questions, Leave them below this video, or if you're on the blog, leave them below the blog in a comment. You can always email me at newportraitbiz at gmail.com. Uh, the other thing is, is uh, if you want to check out our Digital Creations Club, exactly where you can get this particular digital background, a prop set, and a whole bunch more, you can head over to newportraitbiz.com forward slash club, and uh, you can find all the details out over there. If you want more videos like this or more lessons, uh, they're in the club as well, but we have a ton of free stuff too over to newportraitbiz.com, and you can check everything out over there, totally free, and uh, you can also sign up to get our free uh, updates and lessons and stuff like that. So that's it. That's going to wrap up this lesson. I hope you got a lot out of it. I definitely enjoyed making it for you and I'll talk to you soon.